What's up truckers, my name is Destroyer and welcome back finally to my career let's play of Euro Truck Simulator 2. It's been a little while between drinks I know, but uh, you know I've been playing other games, I've been on holiday, I've, you know, it's just, nah, things have happened, life gets in the way sometimes you know, so, and I'm trying to spread my time over multiple games which can be difficult sometimes because you know, it's not like I'm, I do this full time, I don't have all the time in the world, so I kind of have to work stuff out and uh, schedule stuff and all that sort of good stuff but anyway i vaguely remember at the end of the last video which i believe was episode seven uh i said i was going to buy my first truck in this career profile and here we are i'm pretty sure this is episode eight so anyway we're gonna go straight we're gonna get straight into it truck dealers uh and i vaguely remember also that i am going that i was interested in grabbing a volvo so let's try and find the closest there we go volvo truck dealer can we buy online? I don't think we can. Nah, uh, I'm not a trusted customer yet, apparently. So anyway, <laughs> let's physically go there. Good times. All right, let's have a quick little look. Now, another reason I was kind of delaying, like buying my first truck, is the fact that uh, I wanted to level up because obviously you get better accessories and you know more powerful engines and whatnot. The higher level you are, which does make sense. All right, so let's have a look at this V uh, F H Globe Trotter. It should be V H. In my opinion, the Volvo VH, but anyway, whatever. Uh, let's do a custom config on this real quick. I do like the Globetrotter branding on there. It looks pretty cool. Um, now we can... Yeah, so we might have to be... Mm, I don't know. Uh, do we really need this though? I don't think it really adds much. Okay, axles or chassis should I, chassis should I say. I think I'll leave that alone for now. Uh, now horses, what do we want? This is 500. This is 540. 2600 Newton, Newton meters of torque, I do believe. Eh, okay. I mean, we got the money. I got, like I said, over 200, well, there we go, 236,000 euros. Now, the transmission, because at the moment I'm still driving auto anyway. It's just easier for me at the moment with my current setup. Uh, okay, our traversal on hills is a tad better on the 12 speed with Retarder. What is that? Is that an eye shift? I've never actually heard of that before in my life. Normal cargo is a bit better. Uh, I think for now, the ratios are slightly different, of course. I think I might just keep that like that for now. Right, now interior. Okay, right hand drive, left hand drive. I will keep it left hand drive, that's fine by me. Yeah, I think we'll just keep it plain Jane standard. I mean, it changes a little bit of color there, but at the end of the day, who gives a shit? Right, color of the truck. Hmm. Okay. Uh. I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I could really do... I mean, I can't really do any sort of cool custom color jobs at the moment anyway um i could always grab some skins down the track i don't i don't mind that contrast with the white and the the black that's not bad i might keep it like that for now okay accessories wise lights and all this stuff at the front don't care uh i can't i don't have any mods for uh for tires or anything at the moment i don't think um hmm Let's just go with that. I think that'll do for now. Alright. Hubcaps. Cool. That'll do. Honestly, that'll do. <laughs> like, normally I like to spend a bit of time and, you know, I take my time when I'm con configuring a truck, but... Yeah. Let's just do the same thing for the rears as well. Uh, same with the hubcaps. There we go. Booyah. Booyah. Looking okay. I mean, this is the first truck, guys, so... You know, we can get into it a bit more in depth later on. Especially when I've got a higher level. Uh, steering wheel-wise... Um... You know what? I actually quite like that. An extra 1800 bucks. Yeah, cool. I'll take that. Uh, driver's plate, don't really care about at the moment. And yeah, we do have some accessories on the dash, do we not? Oh, yeah. 
Only one. I think it's in uh, ATS where I've got like a bunch of accessories, so I don't think I'll worry about that. That's the other driver's plate. You know what? It's the first truck, guys. Let's just go kind of minimal on this. Yeah, like on config, don't really care about. That's fine. Uh, let's just have a look. Yup. You know what? I think, guys, for now, that will do. Let's purchase our first truck. There we go. Thank you for buying your first truck from us. Please come again. When you've got some more money. <laughs> Munich, Germany. What do you say? Is that like a football stadium there? I think it might be. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. First truck hype. Guys, let me know in the comments what you think of this truck. Like I said, it's only the first truck, so meh, doesn't really matter. Uh, another thing I want to mention as well before we get going is, I don't know if you guys have been watching like any recent videos of mine, but I am currently gaming on my editing PC uh, because I am upgrading my main gaming rig at the moment. But anyway, let's start her up. I'm going to have to try and remember all the, uh, the buttons and stuff because <laughs> I am using a controller still. Yeah, that's the outside view. Let's have a quick little panning camera action to look at her. Okay, decent horn. I can live with it. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Right, let's escape out and do our first job as an owner driver. So we'll jump into the freight market here, have a quick look. All right, so we are in Sheffield. All right. Okay, we could do some, do a run for Audi. Why not, eh? We're going to be in England, I guess. So we can go to France. Hmm. I think for this first job with the new truck, well, the first truck, uh, I might just kind of do a shortish run. Maybe not that short. Uh, oh, but then again, actually, yeah, see with that trailer there, see how it looks, kind of looks dirty. Uh, since episode seven, I have installed two trailer mod packs. Um, and it was weird because when I was looking at the uh, description of it, it said you can choose between dirty trailers or clean trailers. But uh, when I downloaded the mod, because it was just from the workshop, it didn't actually give me an option to pick. And it looks like it's defaulted me with dirty trailers. But uh, you know what? For the, for the sake of this video, guys, and because I'm just started, starting out driving again, let's take this job. Time to hit the road. So canned coffee. Canned iced coffee, I think that said. Actually, let's pull, pull that up. Oh, yeah, because I haven't picked it up yet. <laughs> it doesn't know anything about it. Right, so. Let's get out of here. So, the main reason I mentioned um, that I'm playing on a different rig is because it won't uh, have the exact same performance as my main gaming computer, obviously. So, you may see some frame drops. You may see some performance issues. So I thought I'll give you a heads up on right. that. Okay, let me have a look outside here. Yep, we're in England, so we're driving on the left. Right. Yeah, I quite like that uh, that Keep black left. steering wheel. And then turn left. I'm turning left here. I really can't see that GPS properly. Turn left. Okay. Dasha. Finally, we're here. You took your damn time. All right, calm down, lady. Anyway, enter. Let's have a look. Like I said, I'm trying to remember all the uh, the key bindings and <laughs> stuff like that. Uh. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't pick the Aldi one, did I? So the the Dasher, the DSV. So yeah, canned iced coffee, twenty-one tons of the stuff. All right. Let's do this. Absolutely, lady. Let's do this. I think that voice navigation is the uh, the grandma or something. Something like that. Ready to roll. 
ready to roll? Alright, let's have a quick look at it. Yeah, see how filthy and dirty that trailer is? Uh, adds a bit of charm to it though. If I was driving around with clean, pristine trailers, it'd be a little boring, I reckon. But uh, anyway, let's hit the road in our brand new truck. Can't see if anyone's coming. That's alright. <laughs> They got brakes. They can stop. Go straight on. That's right. Yeah, I will when the light turns green, love. All right, so that's parking brake. That uh, that's lights. Cool. What time is it? It is nearly ten past four in the afternoon. I might just keep the uh, side lights on for now. Okay, that's the wipers. We can turn them off. So yeah, I'm still using the controller, guys. But, uh... With the amount of money I've spent the last few months, I'm slowly upgrading things, so... Uh, but don't worry, I still am planning on getting everything I want for, uh, for this and other sims, so... I still plan on getting, um, oh yeah, because I forgot to tell you guys about the whole Track IR saga, which I can't mention in this video, if the video will, you know, go long enough, that is. Uh, but I plan on getting the wheel and stuff as well, so. But, uh, but yeah, Track IR, because I, I did end up buying it, and it was shipped to me, I did receive it. I'm speeding, so I'm just going to dab the brake. But what happened was, they sent it to me, and I opened up the box. I didn't open up the actual packaging, because I noticed they sent me the wrong one. So, uh, I gave them a quick buzz, and said, look, you sent me the wrong one, because there's two types you can get. You can get, like, the, what I call the OG version, which has, like, the hat clip. I think it is. It's like a thing that clips onto your hat. Or you can get the newer one, the Track IR5. And, uh, and then turn left. I might turn that voice navigation off, actually. It's a tad annoying, but... Um, turn left. Add one with the pro clip. And, of course, that is a little more expensive. I think it's like an extra hundred and something bucks. Uh, but anyway, they sent me the the, uh, the old one, the one with just the hat clip. So I gave him a call, said, look, you sent me the wrong one. Um, you know, I'll, I'm ha I'll happily return it. If you, uh, if you s send me the actual product that I, that I bought. Because, uh, like, I wasn't really that angry about it. It's just the, the fact that uh, the one with the, the Pro Clip is, like I said, about hundred and something, about $140 extra. And it's like, I want what I paid for, you know? <laughs> it's, either that or get a refund. But uh, anyway, their, their excuse was they didn't have any in stock. So then I'm like, well, why'd you send me that anyway? Why don't you just contact me and say, look, I don't, we don't have any in stock and just give me a refund but anyway I end up getting the refund anyway so but that ha that actually happened just for Christmas so <laughs> that did happen a couple of months ago but I've yet to uh, to tell you about it because I haven't played any ETS2 since so there you go that's the story on that so I'm just going to wait and get my wheel and uh, track IR at the same time try and time it where both of them come at the same time that'll be handy so then we can go from there Right, check my speed, we can do 60. Okay, is that the cruise control? It is, cool. Like I said, still, I'm relearning the buttons, so... Looks like a lovely day in England. Clear blue sky. Nice. Okay, I'm going to need that left lane, so I'm going to slow down. And good to say that the AI has not changed one bit. Keep left, and then you know it. Continue straight on. You think the AI would recognise, you know, indicators, you know? Go straight on. That's right. Well, that, you know, they'll recognise a upcoming collision. But I know, you know, from watching dev videos and stuff like that, AI is an absolute pain in the ass. In video games. Right, jump in the middle lane, my favourite lane. Not really. 
Well, it is in, in, uh, in Sims. Not in real life, though. Yeah, let's have a quick look at her. Apart from the dirty trailer, ignore that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> look at the tyres, mate. Oh, speeding. Speeding. And lock in the cruise. There we go. Looks like we're turning again. Come on, car, let me in. Thank you, Muchly. Okay, we're not turning. Alright, let's try that again. Let's have a look at her. Not bad. I'm happy with that. So performance wise at the moment it seems to be coping okay. Because uh, in this editing rig I've got, uh, it's got okay hardware in it. Uh, the graphics card in this is a 1660 Super. Um, but like I said, it, it is my editing PC. Um, for editing and graphic design and all that sort of stuff, the, that card is actually not bad. It's pretty good. Um, I can edit 4K content with it, so, you know, does its job. Plus, it's only my editing PC. I don't need anything too powerful. Not for the type of editing that I do. Excuse me. Thank you. So, yeah, it's holding up okay. Uh, I did try... Well, I say try... And then, you know it, continue straight out. Okay, lady, thank you. Yeah, I think I might turn that off for the next Go straight on. run. That's right. Yes, yeah, shush, lady. Because <laughs> um, I did record some train sim, uh, obviously, on this PC, and it turned out okay. I did I, I did get some... Keep right, and then, Dude. you know it, continue straight out. The speed went from, like, 60 to 50, I think. Anyway, um... I Go did have some on. stuttering, right. and I did lose some frames here and there. But uh, but most train simulators are a little demanding, especially on like epic settings. But uh, so I had to lower the settings a touch, and yeah, it was a little stuttery, but it was okay. I mean, if you guys have watched the last couple of train videos, you would know what I'm talking about anyway. But it's still playable. I could still record on it, so you know, for the time being, I'm happy with that. Okay, back up to sixty. So I think 60 miles per hour is what, 95-ish kilometers per hour, I think, because I, I think from memory, 62 miles per hour is exactly 100. So going off that, I think that, that's about right. Something like that. Keep left, and then you know it, continue straight out. Go All right, straight heading to Liverpool. Did I say Liverpool? Liverpool. Go catch up with Paul McCartney. And Ringo Starr. Ringo's still alive, isn't he? I think he is. Keep left, and then you know it. Continue straight on. All you need is love, apparently. Go straight on. But hey, love doesn't pay the bills. Okay, yeah, slow down. Because we are going downhill. Yeah, turn the indicator off. Oh my god. Yep, cool. Gee, <laughs> I was very close to that barrier then. We are 19 minutes away. So, yeah, it's going to be a shorter video, but, you know, I'm going to kind of sort of limp my way back into this. Only because I'm playing, you know, 
like five other games at the moment as well, so. Trying to find time to, uh, to play six games, you know, record content, edit, upload, you know, it all takes time. in the cruise there we go lovely be good if I could stay in my lane oh down to 30 wow there you go my first find in my new truck <laughs> oh dear got to christen it don't you nah, I've got plenty of money take the first exit Oh, look at that. What is that? Those pipes or whatever. Interesting. I wonder what they're transferring in there. Hmm. I've never seen a setup like that before. Anyway. Don't mind me, AI, just looking around at the scenery. <laughs> hey. Hello, truck guy. Alright, left at a roundabout. Take the first exit. Exit now. Gotta admit though, guys, it is fun trucking again. Keep left. And then turn left. You have arrived to your destination. Your route guidance is now. Turn left. Um, I must have automatic drop off areas I guess because it's defaulted to this it didn't give me a a choice so that's fine no it doesn't like that trailer is sticking out a bit so oop hello Can be pretty hard to turn using the controller. There we go. Successful. Right. Decouple. Get paid. I didn't even see how much that was worth. 3,700. Okay. It's something. Right. We are slowly on our way to level 14. But guys, I'm going to leave the video right there. Episode number 8. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the truck. What do, you, what do you think of the color scheme? All that sort of good stuff. And let me know if you're still interested in still seeing this uh, this playthrough after, a, what, a two-month break. But, uh, but as per usual, guys, if you did enjoy that video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you're notified of every single upload. And I'll catch you in episode nine. Adios.